Hi guys, in the previous video, question uh, 10b, part 1, we had looked at copy, copy in the diagram here and inserting the angle of elevation which is 28 degrees and one right angle which we had identified. Also, we had looked at calculating the vertical height of the pole PL and here, here is the calculation where we found our vertical height to be 8 meters high and there we have it. So in this video now, we're going to be simply looking at uh, part 2 where we're asked now to calculate the height, part 2b that is rather, the height, uh, well the length KM which is if you look on the diagram carefully it's the base triangle this base triangle here that we have the surface or if you should make some comparisons basically I'm speak I would be referring to the floor the floor of the diagram here okay as we have stated in the previous video so the distance or the length km would be this distance here on this side all right so let's quickly get into that uh, what I what I did earlier was just to simply copy the diagram so that we can have the information to look at here now quickly my friends um basically since we have established the fact that it's a base triangle we are working with we can just simply cut that out all right so let's just quickly get that out so there we have that side and we have the other side and then I'm just going to connect that to complete my triangle now basically let's just insert uh, the letters obviously this point would be K would be K this point would be L and I would have an M there now basically they had given to us the angle at L which is 115 degrees alright so that angle there would be 115 degrees and they had given us the length KL to be 15 meters so we insert quickly at 15 meters LM they gave that to us to be 19 meters now basically guys what is happening here if you notice the two sides that they gave us KL and LM they form the angle at L 115 degrees or we could say that the angle that is formed at L is sandwiched or or it is in between the two sides that that's given so basically when we have a situation like this obviously we can use the cosine rule to solve for the side that is across from the angle okay that they're asking us to find and in this case that's km so quickly um to use the cosine rule first what we're going to be doing we're going to be identifying by the by identifying the length of our sides by using common letters so for example this angle here if you notice the angle is capital K so obviously the side that is opposite and across from that angle capital K would be common K likewise this angle here that they gave us 115 degrees it's capital L so the side that is across from it which they're asking us to find KM can also be called common L also this angle here is capital M so the side that is across would be regarded as common M now from what we had learned uh, in earlier lessons uh, the cosine rule states that and let me just 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 let's just work it here the cosine rule states that my friends are uh, a square common a square must be equal to B squared plus C squared c square minus 2bc the cos of the capital a now basically ah uh, this is pretty easy to remember all you have to remember the length of the side that you're finding that that must be always the subject it must be always by itself out here and then you know in any triangle you have three sides so if one length is here squared then the other two is inside here squared and any two letters that's that is on the inside here add in then you are t you're multiplying negative 2 by those two letters if you notice I have B squared and C squared so I multiply negative 2 by BC and any common letter that is on the outside you're taking the angle the cost of that angle okay so it's pretty easy to remember uh, so let's quickly move ahead now basically if you notice the triangle that we have here it's not labeled ABC so basically what we're going to be doing we're going to be just substituting the respective letters in the respective place is here so basically they're asking us to find L so obviously what they're asking us to find that must be always the subject so I'm putting my L squared let me just change the color a bit okay my friends 
So what I'll be doing on the outside here, since we are finding L, I'm going to put L squared on the outside. And since the other letters uh, we have is K and M, then I'm going to put my common K square inside plus my common M square inside. And then I'm just simply going to subtract two times what I have there. Negative two times uh, K times my M. And I'm multiplying that by the cost, cost of L, okay? L is the angle that was given, which is the 115 degrees. So by substitution now, guys, I would have an L squared. And that is equal to my K. What is the value of K? If you notice, K, this is the angle K. So across common K would be 19. So I have a 19 squared there. 19 squared plus I would have M if you should look at the diagram M is 15 15 squared minus I am saying minus 2 negative 2 is multiplying now 2 times K K is 19 and I'm multiplying that by M is 15 and I'm simply substitute substituting the angle now which is cos cost and my angle that they gave us is 115 degrees all right now basically by simplification we could just quickly simplify this so I'm saying L squared okay is equal to and 19 square is the same as 19 multiplied by 19 so you could do that quickly on the calculator and we would get 361 okay and you're adding to that 15 squared and 15 squared is simply 15 times 15 which would give you a 225 so here we would have a 225 and basically here now my friends you would be saying I'm just going to take that down I'm just simply walking you through this okay I'm not gonna skip any steps so I'm taking back down my nine my negative 2 times 19 multiplied by 15 and I'm going to basically look what I'm doing now I'm going to find the cost of 115 okay I'm just simply doing this so that you don't make any errors okay so taking the cost of 115 if you should plug in on your calculator and let's just quickly pull up our calculator so my friends here's our calculator so let's find the cost of 115 and I'm going to find that to five decimal places so basically on, on some calculator you would have to press the cost button first however on this calculator I'll have to press the 115 first okay so depending on the type of calculator that you're working with now cost of 115 is really negative 0 0.42261 and that's an irrational number it continues so we're just going to work with this up to five decimal places so if you notice in the fifth place I have a one but an eight would follow so I'm going to just round this up to two now let's just move so the cost of 115 is really negative negative 0 0.4 four two two six two okay so here from from here now my friends I have a L square is equal to and when you add 361 plus 225 you would get a 586 so the sum of the, those two numbers that would give us 586 and basically if you notice what is happening here you have a negative here multiplying a positive so you would get a negative there and multiplying another positive so you'd still get a negative and then you're multiplying a negative there now so obviously this would give you a positive so when you calculate remember you know a, a lot of time students make mistakes by subtracting the two from this you can't remember we have to multiply before we do our subtraction or addition so now basically based on what I've just um, express a uh, negative 2 times a positive 19 times a positive 15 times a negative 0 0.42262 that would give you a positive answer okay and for that we would get positive 240.89894 okay so basically what is happening here now when we add these two numbers together I would have an L squared is equal to and my answer there would be 8 when the sum of those two numbers would be 826.89334 34. 
So basically, what is happening here now, my friends, if you notice, I need to find the value of L. However, we have an, an L squared there. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to do the opposite of squared, which is to take the square root of both sides. Okay, so let's take the square root of both sides. So therefore, therefore, I would have my L is equal to 28, and I'm writing this to 2DP, 28.7. Six. Now let's just take this down. Uh, let's just take this down a little bit. I think we need a little bit more space here. So let's just pull this up a bit. So right there, I think that's pretty good. Now, my friends, if you notice, they said that they wanted their answers to two significant figures. Okay. So if I have a twenty-eight. 28.76 okay and I want to round this down to two sig fig then basically what I'll have to do start counting from your first non zero digit so this would be your first significant figure so the two here that's your really your first significant figure the eight would be your second significant figure so while I'm above my second significant figure this is where your position because that's what you're interested in your second sig fig so basically what you're going to have to do now you're going to look to the you're going to look to your right so beside the eight the number that follows i'm looking at the number that follows in this case it's a seven so if this digit is five or above then i have to add one to the digit here any digit that is before it okay in this case it's an eight so basically my answer would be 22 i have to put back the two and when i add one to eight i would get a nine so i would have l is equal to l is really equal to 29 meters but if you notice they ask us to find km so really what we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to make our statements they didn't ask us to find l so we're gonna have to say therefore km is equal to 29 meters okay. well guys that's pretty much it that's a value of km which is equal to 29 meters now in the next video we'll be looking at the solution to question 10b part c where we'll be finding the angle of elevation of the point p from m that's the point p from the point m here okay so stay tuned for that bye bye